Hi guys. Sorry for the really light makeup. I actually um, have a rash on my left eyelid, so I can't really put an eyeshadow. And I'm actually still a little sick. I'm recovering, so bear with me. Um, I'm actually going to do a favorites video today. Um, I haven't done one before, and I'm hoping I would do it every month this year. So let's get started. The first thing is these lip stain or um, lip gloss. What are they called? Um, the L'Oreal Caress Wet Shine Lip Stain. Something like that. Um, and I have this in um, Rose On and On 184. It's like a um, light pink color. And then I also have it in 187 Infinite, Infinite Fuchsia. And it's like a... I don't know. It's like a deep purpley red pink kind of color. This is very pigmented compared to this. But this is more for like every day because I just want like a little bit of tint. Talking about that, I actually didn't put on any lip product. I'm actually going to put this on right now. I need a mirror. I'm going to use my iPad. That's what it looks like. Yeah, my lips are kind of dry. Um, I like this because it really actually stays for a really long time. And I, it does stay in your lip a little bit. So even if it does come off, it's not like it's going to make your lip look really ugly. So, recommend it. And since they're dupes of the YSL thing, they're pretty good for their price. So, um, yeah. Next thing is the Olay Moisturizer, and this, I actually got this from Costco, and it was 17 something for two of these. I actually have one at my, um, at somewhere else. So, this is the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 15, and it's for sensitive skin. And I've been looking for moisturizer that doesn't leave my face really oily, and actually this works and I really like this and I mean it's a six floor analysis which I think is pretty big and it was $16 for two and Olay is a pretty good brand so and actually I did get it with a coupon so I think I ended up paying $15 for two yeah instead of like 17 something plus tax so yeah next thing is the bio silk silk therapy I'm pretty sure a lot of you know about this um kind of old but I actually recently just tried it I actually did get this at Costco too they actually I was debating between this or the it's 10 minute miracle or something like that I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about but I didn't I ended up didn't I didn't buy that one because um I don't know I just thought this was a bigger bottle and it, I mean the price wasn't that big of a difference but I think after I go through this I'm gonna buy the uh, the 10 miracle so yeah, but I actually really like this. I like the smell of it. I used it this morning after I showered. I use this on damp hair. I don't use anything on dry hair because I feel like it makes my hair really, really oily. So yeah. Next thing, it's actually pretty old. It's coconut oil. Um, I actually got this from Trader Joe's. I don't know about you guys. I feel like not that many places sell coconut oil and it I had a hard time like trying to find this I couldn't find it at Safeway well they had one but it was like the only one and I was like uh, I don't know how long it's been there it's just kind of weird and this is actually organic so actually it's organic virgin coconut oil um I'm not someone who likes coconut but I use this on my hair and it actually it's actually pretty good you know so yeah, I'm actually going to experiment this with other stuff and if it works out, maybe I'll do a tutorial or something on it. 
But I'm pretty sure most of you know how to use coconut oil. It's been around. Why is there a rubber band? I am going to teach you guys next time. <laughs> yeah. So next thing is reusable cups. I've been going to Starbucks a lot because of school. And I have decided to not, you know, use their paper cups because it really isn't that good for the environment. So I got reusable cups and I got this. It's so beautiful, isn't it? I love pink. And no, I did not get it from Victoria's Secret. I actually got this from TJ Maxx. And it was very cheap. And I think this is a 20 to 22 fluid analysis. I'm not exactly sure because it doesn't say on the, on the cup. I don't know. I actually also got the Starbucks one when it was on sale. But there's, I scratched it. But this I use, I guess, like when I go with my boyfriend because, you know, he's not going to use a pink cup like this. And if I make a drink for him, I would also use this. I did also get a small blender, so I started making, making like smoothies or whatnot at home. So that's why I got these cups too. Last thing, it's also pretty old. But I got this like a month before Christmas. And it's the Clarisonic Mia. And this is the Clarisonic Mia 1. I did not buy the 2 because... I guess to me, it didn't really make a big difference. I think what makes a difference is the head itself. So if I were to spend money, I think I would rather spend money to buy like a different head than to buy like the one with the two speed or whatnot. Because I feel like, I don't know, this is good enough. This actually does really good things to your skin. I, um, I debated for a really long time whether to buy this or not. I actually got it. Um, with a 20% off, so it was pretty good. I mean, I got this under $100. Yeah. Yeah, and just like how it's pink. And, um, I do have acne scars on my left side of the cheek most of the time, and I've been trying to get rid of it. And I feel like exfoliating with a face cleanser with, like, I used the um, St. Ives apricot scrub, and I feel like that's just not enough, you know? Um, I don't use that every day. And I feel like this is exfoliating and it actually gets into my skin. So after I use this, my skin my, bleh, my skin feels really, really soft. And it's a really good thing to have for me. Because I'm just having a really big problem with my skin lately. I'm just trying to fix it. But this is helping a lot. So, yeah. That's it for this month. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.